Question 7, Liam McAuliffe. Thank you. To ask the Scottish Executive what discussions ministers have had with Orkney Islands Council about the funding for the next generation of vessels for Orkney's internal ferry services. Stuart Stevenson. Uh, the Cabinet Secretary for Finance and Sustainable Growth first met councillors on the 28th of February 2008 and again on the 26th of August 2009 and hopes to meet the convener of the Council shortly to discuss the Council's most up-to-date proposals for taking forward the ferry replacement project. Liam McArthur. Uh, thank you. As the Minister knows, these are lifeline uh, ferry services helping sustain some of the most fragile communities in the country. But is he aware uh, that there is now serious concerns in Orkney about the lack of progress in those discussions with the government over the last uh, two years? Does he acknowledge that in this time, the point at which certain vessels will need to be removed from some of the more exposed routes has grown ever closer? Uh, and does he not see that expecting the smallest council in the country to bear the full cost of this investment is simply not ten tenable? Minister. Uh, the member uh, may recall, although he may not be old enough, uh, that in the 1980s uh, the responsibility and the funding streams for supporting uh, ferries in the Orkney Islands was of course transferred uh, to the Council. Nonetheless, despite uh, the clear responsibility that lies with the Council for the provision of services, we will continue to engage with Orkney Island Council to see in what best way the resources they have available to them uh, and what uh, assistance we can provide that help solve the problem, which I acknowledge exists. Stuart. Thank you, Officer. Could I points and stress that the 98 oblique 18 EU directive, although it allows retrofitting of Orkney's internal ferry fleet, will not stop the inevitable need to replace all nine vessels in the fleet. Orkney Council has already contributed a quarter of a million pounds for this programme. Will the Minister make a commitment today to replace the fleet, save this first-class lifeline inter-island service in Orkney? Minister. Uh, well, I certainly wouldn't be able to make that sort of commitment today, and I do uh, go back to the transfer of assets and uh, funding streams to Orkney Island Council uh, by agreement uh, with the Council that took place in the 1980s. It is against that backdrop of the responsibility clearly lying with Orkney Islands Council it will continue what have so far been fruitful discussions to establish an appropriate way forward that does reflect the need to replace all the vessels in not too distant future. Rob Gibson. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I wonder if the Scottish Government uh, can uh, ex explain to us if it's possible to think not just about the Orkney ferries, but those in Shetland and other places that require to be replaced. And is there any potential for these lifeline service vessels to be built in Scotland? Minister. Uh, building in vessels in Scotland is certainly something uh, we would very much wish to see. The member will be aware we currently have uh, a vessel for the ILA service that is in order from uh, a shipyard in Gdansk. At the time uh, that we were progressing that procurement, I made particular contact with uh, Scottish interests to make sure that they were making every effort to see if they could bid. Alas and alack, at this stage, uh, they were not wishing to do so. We will continue to engage with shipyards in Scotland who can uh, uh, build ferries for our service and make sure that they are in a position uh, to bid uh, when future ferries are being, uh, being sought.